Hi, it's Dr. Robinson, and today I'm going to show you how to do algebra, and truly this works for any uh, multi-line mathematics where the students are going to have a problem and then they have to keep hitting enter in order to solve for, and we're going to solve for x today. As we know, we need to always isolate x onto one side. I'm going to up arrow and let's listen to our problem. One, math content two to x three equals four x minus five point four. Okay. And what I'm going to do is right arrow to the, actually the math content. The transcriber uh, transcribes all of this out. They typically use all equals. Uh, and then of course they can uh, braille this out perfectly for the student. So when they open the editor, all of it is immediately going to be there. And I'm going to show you this. Space, math okay. I am using a Focus 40 braille display with JAWS screen reader. And to go into my Braille Math Editor, I'm doing dots, three, seven, four, six, and space. Uh, okay, and so I, if I right arrow, you're going to hear all the dots. And, and Jaws has already read the math problem to you. So I'm going to go ahead and do four, five, six, and space and get to the end of my line. And I'm going to hush him up because he's going to continue to tell me all the dots. And uh, you can auditorily try to follow that, but it's a whole lot easier to follow that on your Braille display because this all comes out perfectly. What I'm going to do is put a comma in between each of my steps. So I'm going to go ahead and put a comma there. And what is uh, nice about this is as you are solving, you can continuously go back and forth over your Braille display to see if you're solving for this correctly. And then at the very end, we hit enter, and then we go ahead and divide up our lines onto the levels that they need to be. Okay, so uh, so this video doesn't become atrociously long. I'm going to go ahead and just solve uh, for this problem, and you can just hear how I am outputting. I'm going to G.7 in space and listen to my mode on my Braille display. Contracted Braille. Uh, that is that would work. Computer braille. That will not. Contracted on computer in. That will work also. I like this one because if I'm actually doing number one and then the problem, I only have to do a dot two and a four six. Versus if I'm on contracted braille, I'll be doing the uh, number sign and then I'll go into my editor. So I'm going to braille this out pretty quickly, uh, and uh, so I don't take a lot of time. Uh, just know that I can move back and forth and. Uh, correct, make corrections just with my arrow key very quickly or my router key. Uh, so let's go ahead and start solving. 4x, 4x, 3, period, 6, period, k, 4x, 4x, dash, 5, period, 4, comma, space, 4x, 4x, 3, period, 6, dash, 4x, 4x, period, k, 4x, 4x, dash, 5, period, 4, dash, 4x, 4x, comma, space, dash, 1, 6x, 16x3, period, 6, period, k, dash, 5, period, 4, comma, space, dash, 1, period, 6, x, 6x six plus 3, period, 6, dash, 3, period, 6, period, k, dash, 5, period, 4, dash, 3, period, 3, comma, space, dash, 1, period, 6, x, 6x, six period, k, dash, Nine, comma, space. Okay, now I need to go into fractions, so now I need to actually use my beginning fraction marks and ending fraction marks. Question, dash, one, period, six, x, six x, slash, left parent, dash, one, period, six, right parent, number, space, period, k. Question, dash, nine, slash, left parent, dash, one, period, six, right parent, number, Comma, space, X, space, period, K, five, period, six, two, five. Okay, so I have browned all of that out, and at this point, I would move back and forth to uh, fix any errors. And the nice thing about this is if I hit enter and I've really missed something, it's not going to even let me enter into this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and add that into my Word document. 625, the okay, so I've got this now, and based on the type of office you have, it's either going to say comma or it's going to hear you're going to hear space. 
And so I'm going to right arrow now and I'm going to hit enter in order to start moving uh, my whole problem down into that multi-line spacing that the teachers want. There's my space, so I know I go past it and then backspace. Enter, Control L, make sure it's left aligned and continue. There's my space. And enter. Minus. Now, once you get into your fraction marks, you're actually going to have to use a different command to move along on that, and I'm going to do five in space. And backspace and enter. Okay, so now I have all my math in my uh, multi lines. I can up and down arrow now in order to make sure I actually did the math correctly. And I, oh, I didn't see a mistake actually as I was moving through. Uh, and of course, mistakes happen. So let's go ahead and just go up there. Math, 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 con math content negative one point six x three point six minus three point six equals negative five point four minus three point three. Yeah. Three here equals three here three. Now that's a three. It needs to be a six. And of course, you can easily and very quickly uh, change that. I'm not going to check the rest of the math because uh, that makes the video go on even longer. But you get the idea how easy it is. Uh, and if I would have spent time on the editor, I could have changed it there before I went ahead and entered and moved that in. And four, five, six in space. Okay, so now you have this incredibly <laughs> beautiful math in multi-lines as the teachers are requesting it. Really beautiful, really easy using the Braille Math Editor and JAWS and a Braille Display. If you're uh, going on to a math career, I highly suggest a Braille Display with 80 cells, but a minimum of 40. Okay, so I hope that helps, and that's how you do multi-line math using the Braille Math Editor and JAWS in Word.